Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to our Tuesday night City Skylines Let's Play. Hello everybody, if you are not watching live and you want to go straight to the gameplay, there's your timer. We've got just about 11 minutes, just over 11 minutes until we're actually going to jump into the game. But hello to everybody who's joining right now, including over on YouTube, we've got Above the Line, uh, and on Twitch, Brandon, Jackamack, and DJ Egg, and Suntiles as well. Hello, welcome. I, I don't know why, but I'm off center. Oh, I know why, because the camera got knocked. So let, let me just realign, 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 realign. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm in my cozy tonight, everybody. It might get a bit warm. If it does get a bit warm, then, um, well, I'll have to deal with it. <laughs> But um, how are we all doing? Um, Brandon says, I'm hoarding all the loyalty points for Eve. You have over 100k from three sites. Wow, that's a lot of loyalty points. Are you taking part in the events, are you, Brandon, on Eve? I've been on Eve today. I've been just uh, moving a few things around with some of my characters. Um, if I have time, I would love to play a lot more Eve, but I don't. So, um, we'll see. If I get some time, maybe I will. Uh, right, so we have a brand new button for the moderators. I think I mentioned this to them, but I don't know how much attention they was paying at the time because uh, nobody replied. Uh, it might be that they thought, well, no reply was needed and didn't. Uh, but we now have a re-announced live giveaway. So I deliberately left a giveaway running um, from over the weekend. So if I click the re-announced live giveaway, let's see if it works. Error. Okay, don't use that button. Don't use that button. Doesn't work yet. Why does that not work yet? I'm going to have to have a look at the code. <laughs> uh, we're trying to add new features, improve and grow the different things that we can offer within a live stream. Reannounce live giveaway. So reannounce live giveaway. That was That's a small function. Uh, it's reannounce live. And it says if re... Oh, I think I... Sp have I spelt reannounce wrong? Let's have a look. No, I haven't. Your stream audio is super out of twink, uh, sync on Twitch. Ooh, and it's fine on YouTube. Okay, so it's a Twitch thing. And DJ Egg's fine. Okay, so maybe just restart the stream then for yourself, Jackamac. Um, okay. So all it's got to do... Ah, right. It's calling a method, but it... I'm sorry, folks, I just accidentally smacked the microphone. <laughs> I just knocked it over onto my keyboard. Uh, right, so I'm calling, uh, and now I've written stuff with my keyboard, the add Twitch notification function, but I don't actually import that function, and I need to import it. So require once. There we go. That's why that page is erroring, I'm pretty sure anyway. I can't see any other reason why it would error. So then I can do fix re announce button. We'll submit that up to the server and hopefully everything will be fine. It's working in 1480. Wow. But not 60 frames per second. Are we streaming in 60? I thought we streamed in 30. And it's over on YouTube watching as well. Oh, it's been a busy day, hasn't it? I, I've been recently uh, replacing some of the bulbs in our house. Um, this, is, this is some of them. Some of the light bulbs. I've written on them. Bulbs. So I, so I know what's in here. But these are the ones that I took out. So this one is an LED bulb. But you can, you can change the colours and stuff with an RF remote. Except it doesn't seem like the remote's working anymore. The bulb works. I mean, it still emits light. But that. And then this one. This one flickers sometimes, I think. So I might have to put that in one of, in like in a lamp somewhere and, and watch it for a bit to see what happens. Um, above the line says, I can't wait for the new free update. Content creator packs and the new radio stations on the 15th. What? For what? The new update. Are you talking about Eve still? Oh, some, I, don't, I have no idea. Um, should uh, Helly should have a look 
at info on the Steam library page before we start. Oh, Steam library page for what? I'm, I think I'm missing something. Oh, City Skylines, because that's what we're doing tonight, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to refresh this screen. There we go. Right, let's try re-announcing the giveaway. It didn't error! Doesn't mean it worked. Just mean it didn't error. So, if it worked, we should see a message within the next 15 seconds in the Twitch chat. And there it is. Game giveaway. There is a game giveaway for Crying Sons. So, that is a real giveaway. There is actually a giveaway going on. But it's a bonus one. We'll be doing another giveaway in the middle of the live stream. Of course, if you're not watching live, don't enter the draw. Because if you go to try and do it, it won't be there. It'll be gone. Um, also a note though, we have actually, I haven't announced it yet, but we have our two monthly giveaways up. Um, so if you go to entry.masterhellish.net to enter that giveaway, you will also see the two monthly giveaways which you can enter, because they're there already. Uh, I will be announcing them on social media like I always do. Um, so feel free to enter all three of those giveaways and we'll do another live giveaway later in the stream uh, look at those monthly giveaways though construction simulator 2015 deluxe edition and airport ceo as far as i'm aware both very good games um games that i would love to have a, a go at if i got chance they released a video for what they'll be doing for the rest of the year and a roadmap nice I like it when developers put a roadmap in. The only problem is, is that a lot of them, a lot, especially the smaller devs, they don't do that because it is very difficult to stick to a roadmap. Um, development and and product designing, production, uh, it's just it can be so fluid these days. Although, like in the old days, you used to like make something. And nobody would touch it. And then it got released and everybody would buy it. And then that was it. There was no updates, no demos. Uh, well, sometimes there was demos. Uh, but there was no DLCs or anything like that. So there was a very definitive kind of line of which the project reached to a point. But now that it's like, oh, are we going to add more features before we finish Early Access? And oh, the, co the, the people playing the game, they want this feature added uh before early access and things uh, it finishes and all that sort of stuff it's much more fluidic than than what it used to be um in fact somebody uh, commented recently very recently on one of my open ttd videos and they were basically saying thank you very much for your tutorials it, it sucks that this game doesn't have a tutorial and i was like and i actually replied to that person and i said yeah because back in the days when this game was first released you went to a shop you bought the game off the shelf, and inside the box for the game was not only the disc, but a manual. Like, um... Here we go. Here's an example. Off my... Off my shelf. Transport Tycoon box. I've got this out a couple of times. Um, but to illustrate the point, you would buy a box. You bought a g yeah, you bought yeah, even or at a bookstore or something, and it it came with the disc that you would install on the computer, but it actually came. You didn't have a tutorial, you had a manual. I don't know how many different lang. Yep, yeah, just double checking, but that's. Okay, so it's not now like these days when you buy a cabinet and the manual's that thick and there's like two pages for each language. This is all English. This is the English version of the manual. Every single page is telling you how to do something. It tells you about the jazz jukebox, about advertising campaigns, non-stop orders, go to and unloads, estimated costs, shift key. Holding down shift when performing any building action will show you the estimated cost of that action without performing it and actually spending the money. That's what it says. This is where you learned. I wonder if there's anything in here that we don't know. Technical assistance, viruses. So, 
I don't know what th this is. I think the quick quick start guide. I'm not sure. Oh, this is the enhanced features. And then there's the original Transport Tycoon manual behind it. Tutorials, managers, and so the tutorials is actually listed there. I know it's not going to be in focus. Just copy it word for word for your next tutorial. Maybe I should actually do like a video, a tutorial, and use the book, like read the script from the book and just show you on screen like what you might see as an image and just see if people get it. Do you think that'd be something to do? It's an interesting thought. It is. Yeah, I think, and then there was, there was a bit of a time when you could buy like walkthrough books, and I remember. Now, which game was it? I think I'm not sure. I think it was Final Fantasy Nine. I had the walkthrough for, um, and y yeah, that that was the other way. You you didn't go on the internet. And look at a video about how to get past a certain level if you were stuck. Or if you'd done a level but then you wanted to know if there was any kind of like Easter eggs that you might have missed. Or anything like that. Or, you know, you couldn't look that up online. There really wasn't much of an online. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it was all very different back in those days. I'm glad I managed to fix the announcement bot. I'll do it one more time. Let me just see if I can get it to work. Boop. There we go. So I can actually spam chip, uh, Twitch chat now um, with that. All right. The game's loading in the background, folks. It's game time. It is game time. The game is loading. There you are. Look. It's even on the screen. It's on the screen as well. So it's not just for Twitch people to enter the giveaway. Um, I am going to try and get messages being piped out to YouTube as well as Twitch. However... It's going to be... <laughs> the moderators are telling me off for spamming. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, so the game's loaded. I'm just loading our game save now. Um, but yes, hopefully, once I can get messages going out from the website, my website, to the YouTube chat working, we'll be able to announce giveaways on YouTube as well. We'll be able to do... Uh, points for watching and a few other things. Disneyland, a bit late to the party, but hi. How are, we're doing good. We haven't quite got the game loaded yet. We've been chatting about a few different things that have been going on recently. I've been changing some light bulbs in the house, making some improvements. Um, I'm, go I'm, I'm going to make, or I'm planning on making some short vlog videos about my smart home and the problems I've had and how I've got it set up and stuff because it could be entertaining uh, or it could be useful or it could be both there we go there we go we're back in the game so let's do a quick review of what we've got we've got this area here there we go it's a bit of industrial and it's a bit of urban and it's all temporary Okay, this was the stuff we first built when we moved in. We just chucked it down any old how. It's, we don't like it. It's, it's rubbish. Over here, we've got Goody on Sea, named after Goody Two Shoes, one of our Viewer Plus subscribers. We've got a nice quayside that we might upgrade. Uh, we could put some parks and stuff in there later. We've got our... Uh, Trade School, the Obi Trade School, named after our viewer plus subscriber Obi Wan. And. Ah, oh, yes. And then we've got the new area, which is supposed to be really good. Except it's medium. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's okay. Uh, what? 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 Are now, what? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Chats. So, you heard, you heard about getting messages. From website to YouTube sounds like fun. Yeah, that that's going to be difficult. I'm I'm using PHP to try and access the YouTube API to interact with it. Uh, network. It says to me, Network 17 entered the game giveaway. I don't see that being announced three times. 
what what was announced three times so today we're going to keep the city running keep it topped up keep it all all in the green as much as possible um but i um let's have a look yeah but we're going to be focusing on pub public transport what on earth okay so my oh my goodness my stream manager window has gone crazy Oh, it's forgot all my favourite default settings and all that. I, 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 yeah, I actually see it now, saying that they've entered the giveaway three times. I wondered if, I wonder if that's a problem. Yeah, I wonder if that's a you, uh, a Twitch problem rather than anything else. So we'll see. And then, finally, we tried to do some damming over here, but it didn't work that well, so we just put a road in to, to connect ourselves up with this tiny little bit of highway that we got access to. Okay, so that's a bit of a recap done. What's that? Oh, it's a tree. That's a bit of a recap done. So let's unpause the game. We can see we've got a high demand for residential, so it might be nice to actually get one more of these residential zones once we've got enough money, I'd like to unlock this area and expand that residential zone a little bit. Um, let's have a look at the zoning. Yeah. So we've got dense residential around this office area and then some not so dense at the back. I mean, there, are, there is more room back here. I could potentially get some more residential in. Don't know how busy it will get. Yeah, maybe we should have a uh, bit of a PHP bash and see um, how it goes. Jack and Mac enter the game. Oh, it's saying it three times on Twitch there for me as well. That's strange. Hmm. I have got three giveaways going on. Yes. Oh, you just entered all three. Did you really enter all three? Okay, there we go. So it it is it's do it's working, but we've identified some way we can improve it. Um, I yeah, I mean here we could probably get more office space in. There's not a massive demand for it, but let's let's do it. Well, hang on a minute. I can't hear the game properly. What's my... Mm. I'm not sure I like... Let's check the options here. Audio. Main volume. Ambient volume's quite high. Let's bring the ambient volume down and bring the main volume up just a little. Right, let's see if that makes a difference. I think there's a problem. Oh yeah, it's just my headset. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, let's get some over here as well. It just seems like a good place to put it, so I, I will fit it in there. Okay. Nice. Right. Okay. Public transport. I do think that this area back here, I should have had more residential in. Maybe there should be another road right across the back. Um, we'll see about that. <laughs> Jackama entered all three and we got one announcement on YouTube. Yes, that is the restream bot um, doing spam prevention. So that's fine. We'll only normally get this problem when we've got multiple giveaways going on at the first time at the beginning of the month and people only just realise that the monthly giveaway is going on. Uh, normally I would announce the monthly giveaway pretty quickly after creating it 
so people can enter it when we're not live. Anyway, what ha what's our progress to the next level? Capital City. That's what we need to unlock the, the next piece of tile. Um, eco water treatment plant. Oh, okay. Well, I thought we already had that. So, let's now start looking at... There is a big demand. I want that square, though, first. I, I guess let's fill out this area a little bit more. Uh, we'll do that. Because we to, to do what we need to do, we need to expand this out. I suppose... I suppose we could get a bend in. So, if we start from here, go to there... Um, and then I'm going to take the last couple of little bits off there. There we go. Yeah, that's alright. That kind of just finishes off that back end. Why have we got different coloured lights over here? That's weird. I I'm just could have sworn I used the same road. Oh, I didn't use the same road. Okay. Upgrade. There we go. Brilliant. So then I'm thinking that a couple of these bits of road could actually connect up. Have we got any large roads here? No. Okay. Let's upgrade this road to a bigger road. What? Why can why can't you upgrade? Oh, it already is one of the bigger roads. Fantastic. We won't upgrade it then. We will just extend it. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Nice. So, if, you, if, if I haven't been clear here, what I'm trying to do is expand this part of the city a little bit. So we've got room for more population, so we get to the next level of city, unlock that stuff, unlock the square, and then put the public transport in. Right? So that's what we're going to try and do. If, if, if you guys were confused about what I was saying. Right, there we go. So we've got that junction in there, that junction in there. I, I want to move this commercial, and I also want to get in some more residentials so let's fill the rest of this in and I suppose yeah we'll do a junction there and it's a bit ugly can we reduce the snapping and see if we can get it to work better I mean that's okay oh I'm using the wrong sort of road um, for this middle bit this middle bit over here just a normal small road and then the connections that are going between the two will be normal small roads as well actually I'll, I'll, I'll make a junction there so then where are we gonna have the rest of the commercial I feel like these outer roads are going to get too busy if I dump the commercial on it, right? Too many abandoned. Yeah, we'll work on that soon. We'll work on that soon. Let's... Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to keep that commercial in there. We're going to... Expand it. All the way across this bit. And then put in the residential behind. Like this. There we go. So there, that's more the residential that the, um, that everybody's been screaming out for. There's a good demand for it, so hopefully they'll move in there. I don't, and then I want to build the same thing on this side, but there's there's not really the room for it at the minute. I guess there's a space here, and I don't know what we're going to put in that. Hmm, interesting. Maybe that's where some of this 
horrible stuff could go. Or maybe actually this book should probably be a transport hub. We'll have our train station here, our connecting roads and all that sort of stuff. Let's uh, let's get rid of all those uh, abandoned buildings, shall we? So there's one round here apparently. Can I not just click on this and it will take me to it? I mean, there's one here. There's one there. Just do a little bit of cleaning up on the abandoned buildingness. Okay, that looks okay. That looks not too bad. Uh, what? Oh, has one over it. Ugh. There we go. Right then, water. Let's check the water situation. Yep, some of these buildings at the back here might not have water, so we'll just extend this out a little bit. go just to make sure I think that covers all of it now for that part of the city we are right on the edge of sewage treatment so let's improve that right away and uh, we've got the money look at the money wow okay we can really start doing some nice stuff here so water water treatment plant let's get that in here connect it up How's our line of sludge? Oh uh, yes, look. So if you look here, it's a big fat brown blob of sludge. And over here, it's a lighter blob of sludge. You know what, we'll take these out as well. Pop one more in. There we go. I guess I could do if I remove this bit then I could do this neaten it up a little bit oh I just want that got it there we go looking sludgy our oh, sewage treatments completely brilliant now I mean it's only gonna get better in future Look at all these abandoned buildings around here. Let's get rid of... Oh my goodness, there's loads. There is loads of abandoned buildings. Why is there so many? What? Right, we need to figure out what's wrong with the place. Uh, we're getting problems where there's not really enough elementary school places. Okay. I mean, yeah, I get that. Like, over here, there's no elementary school. And at the back over there, there isn't either. So, let's do that. Let's put... Um Let's put one in here for those guys, and then one at the back there. That's going to help. Nice. Okay, so that's helped the schooling. The university... Oh, no, public light. Is that public library? Okay, hang on a second. Let's get rid of that. Oh, university. So there's a lot of eligible students, but the capacity is lower than that. So we're getting a poor score, but... A dead person is waiting for transport at the university. Great. Um, we only have 1,100 students, which is a lot more than it was before. And we need to increase the attractiveness. 41% uh, uneducated. Really? Wow. We need definitely need to improve things on that. Okay, so let's now... Let's see if we can attract a lot more students in over here by building something uh, really good. So let's build the aquatic center. It's going to cost us an absolute fortune. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Um, let's put the aquatic center here. Nice. Oh, uh, it's a bit too close to that path that I was going to put in. All right, can I move it and it won't cost me too much? 30,000. Okay, we'll maybe do that later. <laughs> we do need a way for the pedestrians to get round, but to be honest, I think they'll be all right because we've got 
crossings here and hardly any traffic. So that's okay. Wow. Okay, so our population. Where's our graph? Population had a drop when we got rid of the temporary area, but it is still nicely, slowly climbing. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. Um, apparently, police department availability is not good. And I don't know why, because the crime rate is 6%, which is low, and the jail capacity has plenty in it. So I think, I just think that this is bugged. Okay, where are we with fire prevention in this area? Again, looking okay. Some of these roundabouts are looking a bit busy. Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting a load of public transport in here soon. What we want to do is get the city big enough to unlock this square so I can do it properly. Uh, now these roads are open back here. I'm hoping that we get a bit more traffic going around the back. There are so many... Are they dead pe people waiting for transport? Dead people. Dead people. Right. Um, crematorium availability is fine. So why have we got so many dead people waiting for transport? Here we go. Problems overview. Filter problems. No, we don't want to filter problems. Um, let's have a look. So we've got... Well, that one says operating normally. Dead person waiting for transport. Dead person waiting for transport. So they're, they're all just dead people everywhere. Now, we're going to be doing it. It's not bugged. You can see the streets are not covered by the police stations. Um, I mean, most of it is. Especially around here. There's a little bit around there that isn't. And there's a little bit in this industrial area that isn't. Oh yeah, we've got to sort this traffic problem out, haven't we? This industrial area, we're going to take it out. When are we going to take it out, though? I think maybe we just need to improve that road until we take it out. So let's just do a boshed upgrade. Uh, what's this? Is that an oil power plant? What's the power situation like? Yeah, let's sell the power plant. There we go. Oh, does that take... I? Oh, no, I need to bulldoze it, don't I? There we go. Hopefully we don't start getting power problems now. Okay. There we go. So now we've got a nice big trunk road through the middle there. I don't know if that will or won't help with the traffic flow. But maybe it will. I don't know. Need more crematoriums. I'm thinking that might be as well. I think we might need more crematoriums. Let's have a look. Where are the, all the crematoriums? So we got two round here. One over here. Maybe we should just put some extra ones in for now to try and help with the problem yeah let's do that let's have a crematorium row ah oh, no because they cost quite a lot to put in let's put let's put some here on the main road because this is a busy area so that's going to help there give it a boost and then there isn't a crematorium in goody on uh, two shoes uh, there isn't on two shoes on sea so let's put one in here so there's a crematorium actually dedicated there and we'll put another one in the middle of the temporary area this here is emptying finished so i should be able to just get rid of that now 
Oh, they're getting annoyed that there's no grave um, thingy. Potential power outage. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the power's on the on the edge at the moment, but we'll just bump the budget up slightly, and it'll be fine. Because soon we'll do something else. Okay, just pump more money into the system, and everybody will be fine. Traffic is generally okay, apart from this terrible section that we're going to remove. And this roundabout's a bit busy. But once we extend this and put the other road around the back, I think we'll start to see some improvements. They won't be relying on one route. Okay. Really just need to push now to try and get things bigger for our capital city so we can open that bit and get the transport. Maybe we should get some transport in now to start us off. That seems like a good idea, shouldn't it? What about... Should we see if we can get about, about getting a couple of railway stations in? What do we think? Still 20 kilowatts over demand. Yeah, but I've got I've got a plan for growth. Got to plan for growth. Jackamax is like, yes, trains! Um, uh, Disneyland says aren't clover leaf insects better than roundabouts I mean there's lots of different designs and they all have their merits in different situations like for example this design is actually working fantastic like there's there's no problems on any of these roundabouts uh, on any of these junctions I mean the only reason there's a line of traffic there is because the problem's over here, uh, which is we're going to delete soon. So these ones are all flowing beautifully. All right, <laughs> railways with those crazy hub stations. I feel like I've got to get a railway in here somehow. So there's going to have to be a line that comes out and round. Um. And that one's probably going to be a terminus, and then it'll come out this way, and we'll have a four-way junction-y thing here. Let's get rid of this abandoned building while we're here. It's quite a few. I don't understand why. There was a lot of demand for residential, and it does look like a load of people did move in. So maybe that is helping the population growth. We're getting there. We're getting there. I feel like we need to like open up a brand new area. We've got some... What's that? Oh, the name of this place is um, bugged out. I mean, it's showing correctly in the panel there. What about this one? I don't even see this zone. Like, where's the name for these things? Oh, there we go. Fixed it. I just click. Um, right. So this here is a hospital. And we've got to get the railway line down here somehow. So I'm thinking if we move the hospital to the other side of the road, maybe? How much will it cost to move the police headquarters? 12 grand. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a massive amount. And then what what about moving the hospital? Uh thirteen grand. That's not too bad either. Okay, let's get rid of the end of that road. Oh no! I misclicked. Oh well, never mind. There we go. Spent it twice. I don't know if it's gonna charge us twice for that. I didn't really look properly. There we go. So because there's so much stuff with um, major services on this road, I don't think we should allow parking down here. So we can probably... There's a shortcut. We shift-click to... 
uh, shift click for the entire road. There we go. No parking on any of this road. Thank you very much. This is an important road. Get off. Brilliant. And that means there's room for a railway line. Have we unlocked railways? I hope so. Right, what's this one? Trams. Metro. Train. Construct train station. Okay, so you have to have a train station first. Is it just a terminus? Is that the only thing we are allowed... We can have? That is just a normal train station, isn't it? We haven't got the massive ones yet. Have a look at the custom ones. Monorail, cable car, cable car, tours, public transport hubs. Is that what you meant? Monorail and bus hub? Metro, monorail and train hub. No, we're not doing that. But this one is a multi-platformed end thing. Oh, we got another academic work last year. Nice. And we won a sports trophy. Oh, things are going to go well over there. I, I want a, a train and metro hub. But I don't want the monorail. So I think I'm just going to have a train station. Tram depot. Yeah, we're not we're not doing trams. Right, let's just have a normal train station over here to begin with. Um, see if we can keep the sound far enough away. Must be placed on a roadside. Okay, so let's get a, a little piece of road to begin with. And I, I kind of want to line up my track here so it comes across, goes past the top bit of this roundabout, and then into the train station sort of here-ish. Okay, so that's to help me line my train station up. So here we go, folks. First public transport and first trains of the series. After I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a drink and we'll pop this plane train station down. I'll see you soon. Three, two... Hang on, can I get the camera a little bit more accurate? There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? One. Oh my goodness. That didn't work, 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 that didn't work. We lost a little bit of money there, folks. Um... <laughs> oh, no. Qui. It's a key, not a key. Keyside. This, oh my goodness, the city is angry. Oh, there's no power. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Egg's like, meanwhile, the city is angry. <gasps> no! No! Oh no! We lost our... No I can't pick it back up. Well, bye-bye, nose cone. Oh, damn. I'm pretty sure it's only essential for takeoff anyway. Oh, my goodness. Everything's on fire right now. The fire is spreading. There's three en fire engines. Four, five. There's been a crash. Hopefully they can contain the blaze. I, mean, I don't know how many fire... Oh, they're all over the place. You know what? The response times was quite good. Mm -hmm. 
What on earth was I doing with this? I don't know what I was doing with that. It was, um... <laughs> I know what it was. Um, it was my uh, moon base mover. Why it was in orbit of the moon and not on the surface, I have no idea. I'm, maybe it just ran out of fuel. That's probably it, actually. We lost a little bit of money there. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're a pro like me and you, you know, you expect failures in your space program because, uh, you know, it's it's rocket science. It's 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 not easy. <laughs> okay. That jumper looks so warm and fluffy. It is. It's it's less of a jumper, more of a hoodie thing. Um, but let's let's put that train station in, just like I alluded to. Now I've just noticed that the railway line is actually quite far out on this way, so it's a li I want it to be a little more lower. I think. You know, no, you know what? I am happy with that. There we go. First train station in. I mean, it's not connected to anything yet, but it will be soon. So let's get our railway lines, and we have to just keep an eye on the city as we go. So. You know, power situation's brilliant. Water, water availability is actually a little bit low. Uh, I don't see any a reason why we shouldn't try and improve that. So let's get a another water sucky pipe there. There we go. That'll be good. Um, and then what we got here? The sewage is fine. Then garbage processing is brilliant. Schools are doing okay. Uh, hospitals are fantastic. Um, the cemetery usage of course is zero as it should be crematorium availability is brilliant and hopefully we should be seeing less dead bodies needing transport you can see down here we've got 57 and 10 I don't know why it's in two different things maybe one's rotting in a bad situation so we'll keep an eye on those numbers down there um, so let's let's carry on with the train stuff so infrastructure now and is this a it's a dual track system isn't it yes it is a dual track system so i think what we'll do we'll do something similar to what i do in open ttd when i want to get through a narrow bit and that's i will do the narrow bit first um and i think i'm going to just turn off the snapping here because well just because there we go. Now I can't. We can't. We can't have level crof crossings, can we? Which is unfortunate. So how are we going to connect that without a crossing? I guess it's going to have to be a little bridge, right? Hmm. How are we going to get the railway through there? I didn't think this through. <laughs> um, I mean, round here, I also hadn't thought about it. And this is where we're going to be connecting from. So, presumably we can do... Something like that, I guess. And then I mean look at that. That's a terrible turn. I mean, this is all wonky as anything. This is why we've got the move it mod. To sort an out sort an? to sort out these terrible tricky tracks. See that's a much better junction. Yeah, well, this is it, you see, right? It's not only bridge or tunnel, but should we bridge the railway or should we bridge the road? Um, and how's that going to affect the speed of the trains and stuff? I've got a feeling we should be... Um, this is, this is going to be a difficult junction. There we go. I've got a feeling we need to bridge the road that is horrible I'm, I'm glad I can fix this first of all let's 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um. I mean, that's a bit better. That's a bit... This isn't. This is terrible. That's better. Yeah, bring this to sort of here. That's that's much better. It's almost neat. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's that's cool. We're good there. You could have an underground roundabout, right? I mean, technically. Hey, J Bay, welcome. I mean, Jackamax says bridge, but I don't know whether he thinks I should bridge the track or bridge the road. Because I don't think either of them are going to be a good choice right next to a roundabout. So, we've got to get this train track across here anyway. Bridge the track. Bridge the track. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I agree with you, Jackamack. Bridge the track. Let's start, right, by drawing a straight line across there to get an idea. Okay, it's roughly where this vehicle is here. So we've got... We... Um, get this railway track. Unsnap it to there. Get a straight piece. Oh, hang on. We need to go high up. 12 meters that should do it there okay so we've got our bridge in and then I guess if we just make it bend down nicely no, that's too far I mean, that seems to work. We'll do the same thing over here. Mm. Nah, that one's not quite as... soft as a curve as I'd liked. That is a very humpy bridge for trains, right? I'm not wrong there, am I? I'm not sure. You're getting better at making junctions, are you? I'm not doing too bad at junctions. Um, I'm going to try and get... Oh, I can get across here. There we go. Nice little bridge over that roundabout. So the idea of me going this way is twofold because I've got to connect up with this railway line somehow here. And we money's okay. But then it I want to have a junction somewhere around here as well. Um I'm not sure where I'm going to do it. And I'm also not sure exactly how this track's going to get over this road. So maybe let's try that. So if I do something that looks like this. And then something that... Oh no, that's not quite right. And then something that looks a bit like... Hmm. I do like the idea of the train track being elevated there above that. It's like as soon as... Oh, no, wait. No. Let's try a straight piece. Yeah, there is a certain angle there where it doesn't like it, isn't there? 
Hmm. Okay, what if I just remember that position and try and do it with the bendy one? Nice, okay. Uh, what if you terraform a bit to make the track a bit less steep? I mean, I could just have it go out longer before it, it goes down. Um... But it always snaps down at a certain point anyway. Right, I think this this stuff here is very much in the way. So whatever I build around here, I'm probably going to end up rebuilding at some point. And I'm thinking that this railway line eventually will come down into the campus. But I have no idea how it's going to do that. There we go. So now we need a junction here for this one where it comes round and into this. Which is going to be horrible, isn't it? Let, let's be honest. It's going to not be very nice at all. Let's put the snapping stuff back on again. Um, actually, it's not going to be as bad as I thought. Because we just come from here. And we just do a big bend round like this. And then we come from here. And do a big bend. Oh, what, it's not going to let me bend from there? Oh, it is as long as the angle's different enough well that's not great I don't like that although I haven't said that it's not that bad actually because of the way that the bends actually oh yeah actually I'm, I'm growing to like that what I don't like is the uneven of this bit so like this node needs bringing out to here in the middle Just to make this a little bit more of a curve. There we go. That's better. And then we've just got a branch off that way. And this way bends around nicely. This branch is a little bit... Needs of a bend. So if we bring this further down... There. There. That's so much nicer. Or it will be. It will be. This bit's a bit wobbly. Not sure why. Almost as if it needs a, a a bit of a bend in it. Mm. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so now when we unpause, we should see some trains. Hey, Michael, how's it going? I'm doing all right. We're we're bringing in some trains. Okay, I've just realised that the train station's not actually connected to any roads. So, or power, or water. <laughs> oh no, wait. It looks like it's probably connected to water. I'll extend this anyway. Um, we do need, we do need to connect this up. So, how shall I do it? I know. What we'll do is we'll get this road. Shall we make it one way? So they go in one way and out the other. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this should be a small roundabout. We'll see. And we're going to do some improvements to the rest of this 
Network, no. There we go. And I guess we should make sure it's hooked up to the power grid somehow. There we are. Okay, so now we have a train station that's on a road with power connected to some stuff nearby. Let's add a bus service. Yeah? So if we get... Oh, we're going to need a bus depot, aren't we? If we put a bus depot right behind the train station. I mean, it is a terminus. And then, what's that? That's a biofuel bus depot. I didn't think of that. Um, why is that saying no power? Oh, because we're paused. And uh, what about the bus stops? So let's have a look what we've got here. Oh, I... Lines overview. Okay, do I just add a new line? Oh, I can't remember how to do this now. It's been so long. Ooh. That's a good question. How do we do it? Boom. No idea. Can't remember. Uh, how are we doing towards our target? We are slowly getting there. Okay. Um... Presumably, though, with the bus routes, it's where the buses are stationed when not in service. Buses in use. Zero. What's that? That's tours. I don't want tours. Transport hubs. No, we didn't need that. Monorail, which I think would be great to get around the campus. Um, we've got um, metro stations, which I do like metro. I like metro for most of the inner workings. Um, just checking on the city. Power's not great. Once we've got enough money, I think we should get another one of these solar updraft towers. They seem to do a good job. Bus stops. Yes, bus stops would be good. There should be a bus stop in the bus menu. Ah, it's in the miscellaneous section. Ugh, right, okay. So let's put a bus stop right outside the train station. Create a new line. And we'll have it go... Should we do Eggville and Elaine Town separately? I think that would be a good idea. So if we do the first stop, um, hmm, yeah, we'll do the first stop right on the edge of that district there. They'll be all happy about that. Then we'll come down here. And do another stop there. And because this area back here is a little bit bigger, we'll pop another stop there and complete the line. Oh, I like that. Wouldn't it be better to go right off the roundabout for traffic management? Uh, What do you mean right off the roundabout? Oh, you mean come this way and go into there? Um, I mean, yeah, have them on the roundabouts list as little as possible. I mean, if they were coming round this way, then they would be turning left on the roundabout here, and that would be little as possible, but then they've got to get all the way around this one. So maybe we'll add some special bus roads. Yeah, first exit. I, I knew what you meant. So then can I add another line to this stop? that goes somewhere else. Hmm, not sure. Now, this one's only got one roundabout, so this is going to be interesting. So, like, we have a line that goes here. Um, 
No, that that that's not gonna work. Oops. We need to sort that out. Need to sort that out. How do I sort lines overview? Bus line two, delete. There we go. Hopefully those buses will all begin to alleviate some things. There they are, look. Have we had any trains yet? I haven't seen any trains. Trains. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a gap in the track. There is a gap in the... Did anybody notice that? Go on, be honest. Be honest. Did you notice? Because I didn't. There we go. Now it's connected up. Now we might see some trains. To be fair though, I haven't I haven't seen any trains going up and down here anyway. I don't think anybody did. Special bus road that miss, means they missed the roundabout completely. Exactly. So the plan is, like if you look at the bus route I mean, I I Ooh, it's not actually lines overview. I just want to see it on the on the map. It's not letting me do that. Okay, let's have another try. Color. Model of bus. Not a school bus. Articulated. Double decker airport bus. No, we want, we don't want to do that. Um I mean, it's not showing as the route anymore. Which is interesting. I thought it would. Um, yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't a warning. Like, you have a station, but it's not connected to the external network. We'll have to just keep an eye out for that. Definitely, yeah, the number of dead people is completely had it. Uh, disaster response unit. You can bulldoze it or build a disaster response unit that will search through the rubble free and free the lot for rebuilding. Oh. Okay, interesting. Did we have something burned down? Oh, uh, we did. Never mind. It'll be fine. <laughs> Right, how are we doing for people migrating to the city? That's looking okay. That's looking okay. Uh, right. Overall, I think this is starting to look better. We've got a little bit of problem with high school capacity. Um, I guess it'd be good to have some down here. Maybe we should have a road connection. Like an underground road connection here. I don't know if that would make these roads too busy if I did that. But the demand has shot up. For everything. So, let's see. Um, so if I go here... And I just say, oh, I want a little road under the ground from there. Let's turn off this snapping to here. And then, oh, no. There we go. And then we'll come up. No, we won't come up. We'll go a little bit longer. And, and then we'll come up. No. Still doesn't like it. Okay. So we'll, we'll stay down. Then we'll come up. And connect to the back of there. Actually, I really like that. 
Uh, and then down, and we're going to come out this way. Have a little bit of a bend in the road, I think. Ooh. I think we're going to have to... Where's the road tools? I want that bit of road a little bit more this way. And then... Oh, yes! Look at that! Straight into the junction and straight out and under. Uh, and because we've got that, we will upgrade this road. There we go. A little extra bypassy tunnel. Are all those icons at the top of top base game or mods? They're mods. They are mods. They are, I think, show it? Anyway, um, the reason why I did that is because I was thinking about putting out... they got two high schools at the top there, but we got no high schools at the bottom. So if we put a high school in somewhere around here, then this road will help facilitate that. So let's go education, high school, and put one right there. It's going to make all these people happy, but also then filter down to there. And hopefully that will sort that education problem out. More people are coming into the city. More money is coming in. More money. Where are the trains? Where are the trains? Still no trains yet. Um, not quite sure. Train station. Operating normally. Allowed intercity, allow intercity trains. Lines overview. Here we go. Look. Well, there's no lines. So maybe can we not have international trains? You can mark a train station to accept or not accept intercity trains. Intercity trains will be non-stop at the station, but will continue through if not accept. Oh, no, that's not it. That is not what I was looking for. So, what does the chat think? Can people even get across the road? Uh, probably not. No, I think you're right there. They have to walk miles. Well, we will put a stop to that. Somehow. With a bus stop. Okay, let's... Can I, how much is this going to cost to move? Uh, six grand. That is a small amount of money in comparison. Let's move that along. And then in the... Is it this one? Where we can get paths? Anyway, here's our paths. We'll get a nice... Path. And we'll go from here. We'll go up. The minimum amount. We'll go across. And we'll come down. Oh, needs, looks like it just needs to be squeezed over ever so slightly to allow for that to work. Oh, we got a train! There it is! Our first train has arrived. It looks like there is... Oh, it, delete, it disappeared. Well, that was short-lived. We had a train for a second there. And now it's gone. Oh dear, slope too steep. There we go. So now, near the bus stop, which is here, there is a bridge to take you straight over to the train station. It's a little bit wonky because the, the land height changed. But hopefully that means people will start using it a bit more now. I mean, I would be tempted to put... Where are these people going? Are, they, are all these people actually going to be using this... Uh, crossing here to go cross round and back again. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, most of them walked off that way. That's a bit weird. 
Well, I think they'll be alright. Again, still nobody's using the, the walk into the train station. Let's do another one. Let's put one on the other side. Just because I think it will look nice. Not for any real other reason. It's too steep, too steep, too steep. Okay, we need to have it a little bit further away. Uh, there we go. Lovely. So now we got a footbridge. Oh, look, somebody's using it. One person. We've got an absolute bus trove of people here. And one person used it. And then they walk the other way. We're not going wrong. Manual zebra, zebra cross. Oh no, look at this. What's going on? Oh, we've got gridlock. Oh my goodness, the whole city's ground to a halt. Why? Oh, oh, oh wow. Traffic has gone from good to horrendous. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at where these problems lie. So that's queued up going into the industrial zone. Queued up leaving there. Queued up leaving there. Queued up looks like it's trying to get into industrial zone. Queued up. All queued up. Yeah. It's all queued up trying to get into here. Why? What well, I I don't understand why. It's it's all this junction here. The these junctions. Right. I'm going to fix this. Bordos, bordos. Bordos, bordos, bordos. Bordos. There you go. Now none of them touch that road. I mean, obviously, we're going to need to connect it up. Um, and we'll do that with a nice roundabout. I, I'm pretty sure this entire section is completely messed up purely because of this. Let's get that down to 30. I mean, there's some buildings that we need to remove. And then we need to make sure that these roads are actually connected to the other roads. Yeah, that ought to do it. Maybe. It's the roundabout. I'm not sure it is the roundabout. It looks like every single line of traffic is pointing into the industrial district here. Like all of them. Every single one is waiting to get in this area. And I don't even like this area. I feel like we should just bulldoze it. Just like dezone the entire lot. Wow, there's actually quite a lot of demand. Uh, right, we need to get more people in. Let's temporarily boost the population. Because this area, I think, has got water in it. So if we just do... I mean, I know we had stuff down here before. And we're probably going to get bad ratings, but let, let's just get as many people in as possible. Because there is the demand. Uh, I, I only want to go up to a certain point with that. Like here. We're going to have to kick them out later. But 
There we go. Let's do that to help increase the population. We're going to have power there. We've already got water there. Don't need to worry about it. Right, is this now starting to shift? I mean, it's, it's now this junction. Um, I think. I don't want to... Oh my goodness, there's a large fire. Oh, the entire part of the city is now on fire. There's loads of crime. Oh my goodness. Um. Uh, how am I going to fix this? Uh. Uh. D-zone. D-zone. There we go. Everything will be fine now. Won't it? There's not going to be enough jobs for people, is there? There's gonna, that's going to cause problems in the city. I mean, it might fix all of our other problems. Uh, how are we doing over here at the complex? Not enough Oh, there's no power going to this centre. Oh, there's no power going anywhere now. Why is there no power? The power, the power grid is not connected here, look. Um... That's it. There we go. That'll be alright now, I think. Oh no, we need it going this way as well. There we go. That's alright too. <laughs> City planners, how are we going to think this? Just de delete it. Make it one way. No, I'm just deleting the lot, mate. It's all going. Look, the traffic's easing off immediately because there's no reason for people to want to be here. Um, we can get rid of all the excess roads. And start cleaning this area up. What's that? What is it? Firehouse. Oh yeah, we don't need that. What's this? Oh, it's gone now. What's that? Oh, there's still a pedestrian way under here. Oh yeah, we don't need that now. There was still a bit of road there as well. I mean, I wanted to get rid of this anyway. We're just doing a little bit earlier than what I planned. So this is the power backbone of the entire area. I mean, to be fair though, that, oh my good, look at that pollution. That's horrid. So what I was going to do was connect this road to that road with a big road and then I don't think that needs to be here. And then expand it out more. Uh, probably put a roundabout in there. I think I can do that but it's going to cause some problems isn't it? Cars just get vaporised. This is true. Right. Let's put this road in properly. So we're going to have a big road down here like I want to do. Oh god, that's in the way. Uh, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to get this um, area. Ooh, look at this. This is like a happy accident. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's too much. Nice. And then this bit. Just straight into there. Done. No messing. That's a bit broken. But there we go. Fixed. So we now have loads and loads of problems. We have a lot of crime. We have a lot of dead bodies. We have people with power issues. But that was all because of this. And it's all been ripped out now. I guess really to help these cars off this road. I, sh I should allow them to leave. 
There we go. I'm pretty sure that will solve all of our problems. Wow, there's a lot of problems. Look at all these cars. They're all queuing to go use this road, to use this road. Look at this. Look at all the ambulances and stuff that just can't move. Industry demand has skyrocketed. So I think what we might do is actually put something in, like, in here. This could be another office district. I don't see why not. Um, does it want to come off the roundabouts, or should we just do junctions? Let's risk it for now and do junctions. So I'm going to start off by putting some roads in. Like, uh, that just follow the grid pattern for the most part. Like this. What's the progress of the city like now? It's actually improved. The progress to the next level of city has gone up. And then... Oh, I didn't quite get that right. There we go. Just doing these rows in. Snap into the railway, railway line a little bit, but that's okay. And then I think what we'll do is we'll make it like... Hmm... Can we make it so it's a little bit neater? No? Okay. We'll have a wiggly road going through the middle. So we go from that middle to that middle to that middle. And then where are we going to connect it? I think we connect it to the main road here. And we keep it away from this roundabout. And we allow a junction... Oh, we can't because the railway line. Yeah, we'll, we'll allow a junction here. So, let's get rid of that last little bit. Bring it out to about there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Which one? This one. There we go. Bring it out a little way, and then in with the junction. And then all of this area can be office space. Because why not? And we might need some sort of transport routes. I don't know. There we go. So we've actually got another two office districts. Or is this just going to be one big office district? There we go. Well, the demand is there for it, I think. There's so many dead bodies, look. People are dying left, right and centre. Um, we did actually lose a little population. Look. It leveled off a little bit. Like, the rate of increase just disappeared. Um, but hopefully things will improve. Look, we've got another actual train coming through. Here, we're going get to get to see it to go over this roundabout. At night. Meow. Nice. That, that's pretty cool. I like that. So, yeah, the offices are coming in. That's good. The only problem is, is that we're going to need a bus route to help people get to work as well as to that train station. I think I might need to redo the bus routes. Hmm, not so sure. These guys have got no work, uh, but we can add some in. We'll add some more in. So the temporary area that we got rid of, because it was temporary, is now coming back. Um, temporarily.
There you go. Those people have those people can move in there and they've got some places to work now. Hopefully, once the vehicles actually start moving around the city a bit more. I mean that roundabout is actually just just clogged. This bit's okay now, yeah? This is all starting to move. Yeah, this is all starting to move freely over here. I'm not really sure what to do about that. It looks like the odd vehicle is managing to slowly work its way out. Temporarily bringing back the temporary area. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. The good news is now is that the money's coming in at the rate that we can expand things quite nicely. This area here is going to look lovely in a few live streams time. We're going to have some ferries going around and all sorts. The big brown smudge isn't quite so big and isn't quite so brown anymore. This massive queue is just because this roundabout got broken. I think it's slowly unblocking itself. I'm not sure. It's a slightly smaller, it's the small slightly brown smudge, yes. If you remind them, remove the roundabout and put it back, the cars will despawn. Yeah, but I feel like doing, trying to do something different for that. I mean, the vehicles do seem like they're getting through slowly. What happens if we speed up time? Look, nudge, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, a little bit went just then. Now, you know what? There is actually something slightly fundamentally wrong with this, isn't there? The cars aren't using the inside lane. They're blocking up the middle track all the way around. Let's have a look at the situation here. So they're choosing the middle one there to go straight on. They've got the option to do that. They've got no way of getting to the red ring. That is a pretty big problem. They've got no way of getting there. Okay, what about if we give them that option? Like from, from here, if we say, hey, if you're here and you need to go there, do it. And we do the equivalent over here. So... They should be able to get to that inside ring from these positions, actually. So, like that. Um, and here. that That's where, actually, I think the problem is. Like, there's no way of getting on the inside of this roundabout, and there should be. There we go. And then they should filter outwards. Okay, let's see if that helps. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. I I think that's better. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Um I wouldn't be surprised now if that just all works completely fine. Um it's not the best solution. I would prefer to improve it. And it's still busy. To be honest... Ah, that one's got a problem as well. Oh. Oh, it's all backed up from here. Wow. Look. This traffic jam... Is because they're coming off here and this entire road is backed up because of this roundabout. And it's only just starting to filter through. Oh my goodness. Okay, well... It is filtering through now. So, in theory, given a little bit of time, everything should be okay. Look at all these emergency vehicles.
There's 137 people without power, apparently. Over here. I don't see why we're we're producing enough. We are producing enough power. Uh, this is not working. Why have we got power problems? It's showing the electricity availability fine. Is it not connected somewhere? It looks like it's connected everywhere. It's actually just browning out halfway through the city. I tell you what, let's get another solar updraft tower. Because they're good. Power. Updraft tower. On the road opposite. Boom. Right? Operating normally. Is it because the sunshine went? I mean... I mean, everything's fine now. Okay, everything's fine now. Sewage problems. Sewage problems is because of the power problems, so that will improve. What's going on over here? Not enough fuel for the oil power plant. Oh, well, we'll delete that. There we go. Oh, this old bit of road looks like people have just left their um, their cars on it. There we go. Let's have a look at the... Oh, okay. So that is much better. I mean, it's not great, but it's much better than it was. Right, let's end that game giveaway that we did uh, earlier on. So, for Crying Sons, the winner is... Fantastic! BTT, congratulations to you! You have won the game that we said that was being given away! Next, let's do a game giveaway for 911 Operator. Okay, there we go. Giveaway up and rolling. Now, apparently it's a good game, says Brandon. There you go, it comes with the Brandon seal of approval. And it does look like the traffic is still improving. Yeah, look, this road's moving now, which means that will clear. This is still a bit rubbish, probably because of this junction, but this area here is temporary, so... I mean, if we put this as a micro roundabout, would it improve it? Let's have a look. Micro roundabout here. What, what on earth? Oh, there's people on scooters. Yeah, that that does improve things vastly for the with the with the micro roundabout there, the mini roundabout. There we are. Traffic traffic problems solved. We just need to make our city much more attractive so more people will come in because we actually lost some people. Unfortunately. Right, how do we get rid of abandoned building? Oh my goodness, there's so many abandoned buildings. Right, we need to sort that out. Is it a disaster response thing or something? Winter market? No, we don't want all that sort of stuff. Um, what we got here? There's garbage stuff, forest... No, we don't want to go through the different industries. Or see why... The auto bulldozer mod. No, I'm sure there was something about the city had some sort of planning thing that could use it. Um, could have swapped like the disaster response thing. Here we are, disaster response unit. The disaster response unit sends out helicopters and trucks to help clear rubble and rescue survivors. Oh, okay, 
This is like in burned down buildings. It's not for abandoned buildings. So yes, only after a disaster. That's not what we need. There is all sorts of nice stuff. Deep space radar. Warning out for meteors and stuff. Police helicopter depot. I don't really don't think we need that. Like how many yeah, overall, that's fine. Demand is low, but our city isn't the best. Abandoned buildings is the worst problem now, so what I might do is just do a abandoned building sweep. Just to try and get rid of a load. There we go. Hopefully that will mean that people will like the area better. God, there's so many abandoned buildings. Is this from when I got rid of the industry? There we go, that's better. We've gone down to 79 already. Yeah, I know there's abandoned buildings. It's actually what I'm doing right now. <laughs> a lot of dead people. Do you have a cemetery? Sewage okay. Looks like it's a citywide issue. So, uh, the, the amount of dead people on the map is because we just had a citywide gridlock because of um, a temporary piece of road, which I was going to fix later. Um, so a lot of people died because there was no emergency vehicles able to get through anywhere. So um, we sh that number should be going down now. Uh, it's, already it's at 60. So we'll keep an eye on that. But the number should decrease. 58, yes. The, the dead people problem is not because of sewage or anything else we just had a citywide gridlock fire trucks couldn't get anywhere ambulances couldn't get anywhere I mean one of the bigger problems at the moment is is the fact that I've got temporary stuff with terrible junctions and things that is just there so that we get income I mean, I could just delete this entire zone, but then demand would go sky high and I'd need to build new zones. And I do want to build new zones, it's just I want that area. So, hopefully, if we look at the graph... Yep, yeah, there was a big dip. So, when I got rid of the industrial zone, um, the population levelled off. And when we got the gridlock, the population actually dropped properly for the first time without me actually deleting a load of area these two things are me moving uh and or removing residential zones you can see though it's turned a corner so hopefully that will be back on the rise there we go so there is a, a little bit of a flaw with these junctions if they get too busy. Um, but I think we've we've resolved them now. This where's the where's the three split green? Is it this junction? Oh no, it's this junction. So where's the three yeah, this this one shouldn't be set like this. Okay, they should have the option to st stay ahead or move in. Stay ahead or move in. There we go. That That's how it should be. Um, similar over here, actually. So, where we've got this junction, they should have the option to come across. Uh, that green shouldn't have the option to move to the outside. There you go. Should, that should be straight on. The green can turn left there, so that's fine. Uh, 
Just making sure that all of these places where they enter, they can actually get to the outside edge. Because otherwise then we're not using the entire roundabout. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it should work like that. Yeah, we'll see. If the bodies lay around too long, the neighbors might move out. That is true, but we're already already down to forty-five, so it's definitely improving and sorting out relatively quickly. I just hope that we can actually get these buildings here. Uh, let's just get rid of them. It's fine. Abandoned buildings is now down to 31, which is really good. And it's not just me bulldozing them. They have actually been replaced. There we go. A uh, number of dead people is down to 40, which is, again, good. getting harder and harder to find all these abandoned buildings. Oh, there's loads in Eggville. Absolutely loads. Oh my goodness. So many abandoned buildings. There we go. Oh, that was a piece of road. There we go. Hopefully, in the future, we shouldn't have too many problems with abandoned buildings. Okay, we're down to four. There we go. And the number of dead people is down to 28. So, definitely getting much better there. Let's check everything. Power situation is incredibly amazing. We are doing hardly any pollution. We've got these two solar towers. We've got the garbage disposal thingies. Water situation is brilliant on both. Um, and the garbage processing status, again, like I said, is really good. Uh, education is okay for elementary school, okay for high school. University isn't great because the amount of eligible people and the amount of people that are actually there. Um, but if we go over to the trade school and have a look, we are not at our student capacity yet. We're starting to get closer to it, which is really good. Um... We're actually making a profit. Um, we're actually making a profit now on our expenses versus, versus tuition fees. So what I'm going to do is put up the amount of academic staff. There we go. It is, I think it is making money. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's making money. Which is really good. And it should level up. So once we get one more academic work, it should level up. And in fact, what we'll do as well, in addition, we will do a IT and engineering research grant. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Right at the end of the academic year, uh, we get uh, IT club and uh, school of tourism and travel things and other bits and bobs. Fantastic. Look at that. And we are now a renowned uh, trade school, which is brilliant, which means it will be able to expand better. We're going to need more of the study halls and campuses and so forth. There, that's, that's a cafeteria, isn't it? And we're going to have to expand the paths. I'd want to improve the path network. But we won't do that now. We're going to... We'll, we'll add... Should we add a train station? Shall we add... A train station in here I mean that was kind of a rhetorical question because I had already decided that we were gonna have a train station in here so to be able to put this train station in we need to get a road off here and put one in so let's just do a standard road like this There we go. We can connect the path up to that later, I guess. What we got here? Zonable to pedestrian stuff. No, we're going to use the standard one for now. We're going to use the normal parkway. There we go. Connect that up like that. That'll be quite nice. And it, it is the, the episode of trains. There we go. There's our train station. And the track is going to have to immediately go straight over some water. Let's see the bridge that was created for that. 
Yeah, I quite like that. Nice, neat. Industrial, slightly. University train station is a great idea. I know. I know. University train station is a great idea. Open TTD crossover. If you want a game that's like Open TTD that is not Open TTD, check out Transport Fever 2. Right. Um, it's a bit dark. Is it me or is it a bit dark? I don't know. We need to get over this part. So let's get these tracks. Uh, let's get things back on track. Yeah? No? I don't know. So we'll do. Well, can that go across one big space? It doesn't want to overlap that despite not having a pillar. Damn. Okay, what about further along? Will it do it here? Yes, I thought it might. Okay, so we'll do that one there. We'll do that one there. And then we're crossing to go over that way. Okay. Um, I guess... We want it to go down, so... Let's do that. Try and make it relatively neat. I find it a little bit difficult to see. Maybe I need an eye test again. Speak to my wife. She knows about that sort of thing. You tried it, but you love Open TTD. I mean, there's nothing wrong with loving Open TTD. It's a very good game. And I'll tell you something else that me and the uh, viewer plus subscribers found out recently. Um, do you remember if does, do people remember when we did that Open TTD game and it was Furs and it was Steel Tire and it was a it might have been a charity stream or something. And we started a fantastic map and we were in teams and the industry's all produ production went to zero. We were trying to figure out why should we restart? Was there a problem with the scenario? Turned out it was actually a bug in the game that we hit. And the fix for the bug is coming in Open TTD 1.13. I've already tested it. It's it's all good. I'm not testing it because it's a dev. I've got my hand on the beta. Before somebody says something. Okay. Okay, so we've got those two bits connected. And uh, those ones are all connected as well. We've got to come over this, past this water, and then connect up there. So I think if we just go across here, then bend and snake over here. Almost feel like we should have stayed up here, but never mind. So if we go like that. Can I get across there in one? I don't think I can, can I? Alright, let's do, use the Move It mod to get it closer to the road and see if we can get over. No, it, it doesn't like that. Okay. No, for that length of distance, it wants to put a... Uh, a support part way and it, it can't do it I feel like a tunnel might be in order here to do this nicely there we go down there we go tunnel Got the game giveaway going on. I'm going to give you just like two more minutes to enter that game giveaway, folks. You want, If you want that game, you've got to get in that giveaway and you've got to get in it soon. Is that a nice bridge? No, it's not a nice bridge. When it's daytime, I'm going to fix that. Uh, where do I come out on this tunnel? I can't see because the, it doesn't actually come out. Okay, never mind.
You have it for the Switch? Interesting. There we go. Railway line is now connected up. So we we have a line. And we're missing some water here. But that's okay. It's kind of to be expected. We can now have a railway line that goes between the, the school, uh, the university, and this place. That's got lots of vehicles. Oh, it's getting busy around here now. Look, our bridges are actually getting used by people. They're coming out of the train station, running over there with their handy little toolboxes. Coming along, waiting at the bus stop. Nice. Look at this. Very good, very good indeed. We've got a little bit of a problem with fire safety, apparently. Which, I'm not surprised. There's just like one massive fire station for this entire area. So let's get a train line in now, I guess. Can I go lines overview? Um, no, I go in here. Miscellaneous train line. We go from this station all the way down this line to this station. And then we go back again. And that's it. So we've got our first internal rail service now. I think this... This might be it. Oh my goodness. It's a bit bumpy with all these uh, up and down bits. I'm tempted to get rid of the, some of the lower parts so it stays elevated for longer. I think I might do that in some area. Oh yeah, here we go. We're turning right. It's, it's not quite first person Jack and Mac. We're actually going to just stick with this view. I think with the, I don't know if you can control who you follow with the first person mod. I'm not quite sure about that. But this is like first person, isn't it? Oh, and there's a train coming the other way as well. Nice. Oh, there's more than one. One of those is probably a local train and one of them is probably an international going under the main road here I yeah I prefer that you can just click on the train that's what I did oh oh I've cancelled it now so what's uh, like I, I think I just initiated it I'm not sure I don't I mm. Click on the train. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Here we go. I found the button, Jackamack. Yes. Wow, 150 kilometers per hour. This looks quite a lot like transport fever, doesn't it? Except that bridge doesn't. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that has, that's hysterical. It just hits it so hard that the train just disappears. The, the tunnel doesn't work very well. Yeah, look. Woof. It's like the smoothness been added to the camera, but it shouldn't be. Definitely going to get rid of some of these humps and make it so that it, the train just stays up more often. Is it a bit laggy? What, the stream laggy? No, the stream's fine. There we go. We may as well watch it all the way back now, I suppose. It has to slow down for that corner, but that's fair enough. Those solar updraft towers are amazing. I know. They, they're they one of the best things that I've uh, managed to find. Yeah, there's a lot of trains. And it actually tells you what district you're in. We're in Elaine Town right now. Or is that where our, our destination is? Oh my goodness. Look at all these passengers as well. That is really good. Hopefully that's going to improve things and it's going to call, um, alleviate the, the, what do you call it, the traffic situations. Though I say traffic situations, uh, we've got next to no traffic problems. We've got a busy, busy-ish roads here, but that's because we haven't got the other connections in. Everything else is pretty good. Uh, we need some more schools. Definitely need some more schools, especially around here. 
Um, but we're starting to get close to unlocking that other square. So that's really good. Yeah, I, I really don't think the trains should be able to go up those up those humps. Um, power output of these uh, electrical facilities is brilliant. The only reason I've got the uh, incineration plants is because it's a good way of getting rid of all the garbage. Yeah, fire safety is down a bit, isn't it? Yeah, not sure about that. I mean, there is a little fire station over here in the campus. Is there a little police station as well? Yes, there is. There's a police station and a fire station. We not got a, ho a hospital or something over here? No. Well, that we definitely should get one of them. There we go. Right. Now, over here in this area, Egg uh, but basically a lane town is almost half the size of what it should be. Eggville, I, I, I don't know what we're going to call this, or even if we're going to keep this, this area. The demand's actually quite low at the moment. Good evening, welcome to the stream, George of the Shire. Um, yeah, we've got half a million in the bank account now, so we can really start spending things if we want to. I don't like this. This doesn't look right to me over the main road. I think that should be a tunnel. Then again, this junction's probably going to get redone at some point soon anyway. I might even put one of these junctions here. We'll see. Uh, we're going to need a third zone for population. Uh, I'm not sure, and it's going to have to be in here. What we'll do is potentially put another junction in here and then connect this junction to that junction to something back here and just create a whole new zone of stuff which will be where we can have more people. Yeah, I, I can't... Oh, jail availability went down. But then again, that might be lagging from when we had all the problems. When we had all the issues previously. Uh, I guess goody on C. We can start doing a couple of little things. To try and make it look better. Um, this waterfront is meant to be like a paradise. Sort of beautiful seafront thing. And there's currently pretty much nothing there. Uh, can a park be... What's that? What on earth? What did I just click? Must be placed on a roadside. Oh look. Is that is there like invisible paths inside the park? And when you place it over water you can see it. A botanical garden. That might be nice to visit. Again, must be placed on a roadside. So maybe we need a road around here as well. Um, a fishing island. Yeah, fishing island. Let's put... I uh, see, it looks like a fishing island can go against... On a quayside. Oh, let's do that. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I don't like that people are walking through the ticket office. There's a kind of... Bug between the systems. It's also complaining about road problems uh, yeah it's not great is it people are walking into it it's a nice fishing island though I like that you could make that section a park zone yes yes I could how do I do that let's have a look uh, other parks those in zones Re uh, residential specializations, office, commercials, industrial specializations. What's that one? Okay, no residential, self sufficient buildings. There are all the industries. Aha, park area. There we go, let's do that. Let's uh, 
I guess go right up against the back of these buildings. Like this. We need to have a theme park in somewhere around here. Can I do like a mega mall? I think I would like to do that if I could. And then... I guess what we could do is actually continue it round to these rocks. Like that. And I suppose we've got some rocks here that we can do. Some mods, car parks and placeable buildings. Oh, okay. We won't do that then. What we'll do is we'll just have a really dense shopping district of some description. There we go. We've got a park area. I mean, I have no idea what I can do with that yet. But this is saying we haven't got water. That's true. You haven't got water. I will fix that. And then it's saying... I think it's saying I haven't got a road. But it let me put it on a quayside. Or is it to do with the fact that there's no boats? Not sure. What's that place saying? Not enough educated workers. Well, our university is supposed to be getting much better... Uh, well, trade school. It's supposed to be getting much better, actually. So students is looking good. We're getting close to capacity now at the moment. Campus attractiveness is not the best. But... We did unlock a load of cool stuff from last time. So if we go into education, campus things, is that it? Oh, here we go. Trade school. So we can have groundskeeping, which we've got, book club, which we've got. We can Oh, this gymnasium? Yes, it'd be good to have a gymnasium. I think a gymnasium... Not far from the from the sports centre, from the water sports centre, or opposite the water centre would be a good idea. Then we've got the uh, oh we've got a cafeteria already. We've got a fountain. Oh, what's this one then? If that's a fountain, outdoor study. Okay, school library. I don't think we've got a school library yet. Let's put that at the back of the academic building over here. What's this? An IT club, definitely. Definitely need an IT club. Let, let's put the IT club over here. What's that? Trade school commencement office. I have no idea what that is. There's an academic statue. Oh, that's cute. Let's put the academic statue right at the railway station. So that when you're stood on the platform, you can see the statue from here. Uneducated percentage has gone down 11% from the start of the video. Down to 11% or down from 11%? Uh, I'm not I'm not 100% sure I'm following you on that one. Well, we've got power problems over here. Shouldn't be. You should just need to connect up. Go on, do a link. Somehow. What we could do is we could just have a little... No, it doesn't like that. Um, it's the railway line. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll we'll put a little bit across here. There you go. You've got some power now. Stop complaining. It's gone from 41 to 30. Oh, wow. That, that's not good. Graduated citizens, 71%. Maybe we just need to do an overhaul of where we're placing all the elementary schools... The high school. I mean, obviously, university is, is, isn't something we can do. One thing we could probably do is add some libraries. That seems like a good idea to me. What's this? Universe. Oh, there's actually just a university object. Uh, that's probably a good idea if we actually add a university. We could put it at the railway station over here. Yeah, that, that was a good plan. And then the public libraries. We should have a couple of libraries. So... Should we put them on the main roads? I don't think they should be on the main roads. Um, 
This is difficult because I want it in there and I haven't got that square. Let's put one over here. Wow, it's quite big. There we go. A big public library. I mean, I don't really care about this, but we should give this, this area a public library. These guys should have everything that's that's going for them. There we go. They can have a public library. Public libraries have a surprisingly small area that they cover for how big of a building they are. That is very surprising. I suppose maybe I could put one at the edge here, but... That university status is looking much better. Hang on. I'll be back in a second, folks. What on earth was I doing with this? Oh my goodness. Was this a failure of me to... Oh, I have no idea what's going on with this. <laughs> I don't remember that. This is a TR-10 second stage with a land tug and the space station tug. This is somebody coming into the city. So this is an oil truck returning to facility. So we can actually see how bad it is. Oh my goodness, right, so the- oh, it just changed anyway. So it just seems to want to change randomly. Oh, hang on, we're now Max Walker driving home. Not quite sure where home is. I think we just ran over a dog, but I'm not sure. That donut van's going crazy. First person camera going. Okay, folks, we're back for the last part of the live stream. Um, I can see that we've got some people that have entered the giveaway and I did say I would end the giveaway So I'm gonna end the giveaway now Fantastic! And the winner is Beanie Nixon. Congratulations. You have won 911 operator. The uh, winning code will be sent to you via email uh, Using the email address that you used to subscribe to the website. Congratulations. So there we go, right? Okay, so education is actually now looking good now. I realize that a university is actually a different thing to the trade school. Um, silly me. There we go. Um, I'm not. I think this is a good place for the university because it's near the train station. But I feel like there needs to be a shortcut to the campus. I think we can do that though. So let's do it. So if we go straight from like. Let's get rid of the snapping, otherwise it's not going to work. If I if I just... I, I said get rid of snapping. Alright, it connects up there. Uh, I was hoping that this would connect up at other points, but it just doesn't. Okay. Instead, I will do something slightly different. We will come straight from the corner of here, right down the side. Like that. And we will go from here. Not too close to the road. There we go, straight down the side of the building. We can't get much closer than that. There we go. So we now have path connections from our bus stop to the university. It's not far away, without with it being next to the train station as well. So there we go. Oh, that's much better. Things are definitely improving all round, aren't they? Traffic is, again, busy, but okay. 
Uh, this roundabout is particularly busy, but that's to be expected because we're missing infrastructure around here. And look, we're getting quite close to being a capital city, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got loads of abandoned buildings. Are they saying they need workers? Workers can come via train now. We've got all sorts of things going on here. I think we should expand the paths and actually have um, more student capacity. So if we put our paths going out like this, and then we also probably ought to connect up some of these roundabout bits. So that one's connected there. It normally goes off that way. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe this big sports centre shouldn't have been there in the first place. I don't know. Let's try and get those bits to even out. That's nice. Bit of tidying up around here. Bit of pathing brilliance. Um, we could probably get rid of some of the power line around here. Mm, we need to move it. There we go. Now I can get my path in that I want. I don't think that's perfectly straight, but it's close enough. Now, how am I going to do... Oh, I've just had an idea. What if we come out here and we go page up and we follow the edge of the roundabout until it's not too steep and then we do the same here Oh, this is going to be good. As long as everything works out. I mean, I'm, I'm not promising it's going to be good. But I think it's going to be good. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Ooh. What do you mean slope too steep? What? Yeah, it doesn't like that. Um, let's delete that for now. Would be the one that I did at the very beginning, wouldn't it? There we go. Oh, I love that. I mean, I hope people use it. I don't think anybody's going to... Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to get rid of the uh, some of the... The junction things. The, the pedestrian crossings. Oh, and I can't remember if I said it on screen or not. Uh, on stream or not, but we've got a mod now that hides the crossings when you remove them like this. There we go. I mean, in theory, you could just get rid of all of them if you wanted to force them to use the bridge. Best mod 2022, says Jack and Mike. Look, they're using the bridge. I like it. This bridge design was inspired by a roundabout I saw in Chester in the UK. It's not the same as that, but there's elements of it which are similar to give me the idea. And I actually had this idea a few episodes ago and never got round to doing it. Um... I don't think there's any other ways that I need to do... Oh, there's... Basketball sounds coming from the gymnasium? Certainly sounds like it. Let's do that expansion that I was talking about. Uh, let's see here. So that is... A school of tourism and travel. Oh, we don't want that. A police academy. No, I don't want that yet. Uh, what, 
Um, we don't want a library. Ah, uh, here we go. So there's a study hall and more dormitories. So if we add another two dormitories like this, and then we've got study halls kind of on the corners on this side. So I'm thinking we change it up a little bit and add a study hall at the back here. And one at the back there. And then that will allow us to have oh, I can't remember what these are called, but whatever these are called, we can have them. What are they? What am I building? It's dormitories, that's it. I'm building dormitories. It's, it's, it's getting late. Uh, this the, the the plumbing around here is absolutely horrendous. Um, it needs to be much better organised. There we go. Oh, this is really coming along now. I like it. Where's my cinematic camera? Yeah, with all the sludge coming out the back of it. Oh dear, the sludge. That reminds me, we probably need a few more of these commercial buildings. Uh, is that somebody in a bird costume? Who is that? It's not a clickable in this mode. Is is a team mascot? Can I then switch modes? Oh, there we go. A few more commercial bu building to generate more sludge. There we go. Well, we're going to have a million monies sometime soon. Um, but I'm just holding off until we've got this square. So what time are we at now? Coming up to half ten. You know what? We're going to leave it there. We've added quite a lot of the rail network. We've started adding some buses. We've fixed a lot of things. We've got a lot of growth in this dense area here, which is really nice. It's helping to raise our city size and all of this has grown as well even though it's temporary and horrible um but i'm really pleased with our railway line i do want to make some improvements um i think when we go up and then we go up again later i'll just connect it up with a higher bit of line we'll see about that um but these sections can be lowered down and i don't like this s here to try and get over the carriageway in fact these these highways are probably going to be rebuilt some at some point, so it might be best to just go underneath. You think you can customise the sports team? Is that at the gym? Campus area info. Oh, there you go. Look, there you go. You can change the tickets. You can che change the cheerleading budget. Oh, let's put a little bit of cheerleading bu budget on. Uh, weekly expenses. Income is really good. Let's change the team colour. It's got to be hellish red. Team identity. Light lions? No. Maybe. <laughs> the chirpers. Oh, maybe we're going to have to do that instead. There we go. What we got here? What's this? Coaching staff. All right. We'll put a bit of money. We'll, we'll have two coaching staff. We'll put a bit of money into cheerleaders. Ticket price of 30. There we go. We've won two, lost three. That's not great. Hopefully now we put some money into coaching staff. Then we'll have some more stuff there. Academic works are coming along a little bit nicely. Policies are all good. And oh, we're so... We, we built beat the campus stuff. So we just need more academic works. In which case, 
let's do some grants. Let's give a grant for IT and engineering and try and get some more. Fantastic. Oh, the, the city's really starting to come along now. I, I love this area here that I started last time. I'm not sure we're going to keep these. This doesn't feel like a proper area. We need more stuff. Um, I like the fact that we've got the kind of businessy office stuff in the middle and then we go into the high rise urban areas and then it comes out lower we've got some commercial there is a massive demand for industry or office so we'll have to have a look and yes and the universe the um, trade school is really coming along now despite this game not looking the best in like certain views look really good at night in this game like there we go like maybe that looks quite nice but for playing the game it's actually quite difficult to see what's going on sometimes so like i said though we will leave it there for tonight on that one i'm gonna make sure i save the game so that was live stream six wow it's really coming along isn't it uh, i'm really enjoying it uh i can't wait to see how much more we can do um money is not a problem at the moment so hopefully we can just do some massive building stuff soon get that square unlocked build loads of city trash the temp zone and then start building out some really nice looking stuff yeah so um just a few things um don't forget actually i've got something to show you i've got something to show you guys and uh, if i can find it um how open with google so we have confirmed an event coming up and it's a fantastic event um it's going to be and i've i've kind of told you guys a little bit about this but it is now confirmed i've not announced but it's confirmed that the open ttd triple festive charity live stream is going to be coming and it's going to be coming on december the 17th we're having three games so hopefully people from multiple time zones might be able to take part a little bit more each one is a full game in its own right uh, the stream's going to start at half past 10 uk utc time and the games will start at 11 half three and eight o'clock at night it's going to be a long day with lots of different open ttd uh, we've got like 25 games to give away, over a hundred and I th yeah, over a hundred pounds worth of Steam vouchers to give away. Uh, we're going to do funding goals and all sorts, so it's going to be a great event. I'm going to announce it on social media and stuff, but I thought I would let you guys know that this is coming up as well. So there we go, folks. Of course, you've got a Kerbal Space Program on Thursday night. You will get your Open TTD fix with Series Six on saturday and more factorial on sunday but in addition to that uh there should be a couple of vlogs coming out soon as well which will be nice so lots of cool content coming out at the moment if you've got any thoughts or ideas either put them on the comments of this video on youtube or come over to the discord and have a chat with us either in the general channel or post something on the forum um fantastic place to be well there we go folks I've enjoyed that. Hope you did too. Take care. Uh, from me for now. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>